feeling the speed. I know! Racing strike! Aha! There's the speed! I think that was one too many stripes. Stop everything! Tonight's dinner at the cafeteria is going to be the event of the year! It's Hot Dog Day! Wait, what's a hot dog? You don't know what a hot dog is? Kirby, enlighten our friend here. All the animal parts they aren't legally allowed to use in pet food are ground up and stuffed into digestible food-shaped casings. Colonel Cork is looking for a replacement condiment commander, someone responsible for garnishing the ketchup, mustard, and relish on every hot dog that goes out. Well, that sounds awesome. Three condiments, three of us. <laughs> we could totally be the spreaders of ketchup, mustard, relish, and joy. <laughs> I started this prestigious event five years ago to honor Dumple's favorite food. <laughs> Nummies. And you're telling me no one has ever volunteered for the job of condiment commander? Sadly, sir, yes. Which is why I end up doing it every year. Oh, don't be like that. It means you get to shine like a star for the day. Right, Dumples? Oh, she agrees. Ketchup! Reporting for duty, sir! I'll take mustard! I'm jealous! You mean relish! I'm relish! Oh, no! There is no way these three... You have volunteers! But... but... there's only one costume! With only one suit, there's only one job. You three will have to figure out who gets that suit before the big event. Oh, no problem, sir. Yep, we'll go figure it out right now. Woohoo! <laughs> 48, 49. Whoa, I think that was a shoe. I didn't say stop. Guess who just locked down a condiment commander job? <laughs> For you, sir, a token of my appreciation for being made condiment commander. Should you choose to do so, of course. Whatever it is, I don't want it. It's a plate of sugar cookies. I read your diary and... You uh, did what? I wanted to find out your favorite things, like freshly baked sugar cookies, summer rain, the sounds of a raging tiger... <laughs> <laughs> Peace. And don't worry, I won't tell the cafeteria lady about your crush. Uh-huh. Presents are nice, but the greatest gift of all is rest and relaxation, which is what I gave the colonel. What are you doing? The sound of wind helps everyone sleep. Not me. Now, would you please just... Oh, you prefer the soothing sounds of waves crashing onto a beach. I can do that. <sighs> gah! Gah! Honey, would you put some lotion on my back? Daddy, Daddy, look at my sand castle. Dude, let's play volleyball! <laughs> I fixed his bike. <laughs> So, kids, have you decided which one of you is going to be the condiment commander? You mean Cork didn't choose me? Time is running out. I guess there's only one way to decide who deserves it the most. We need someone who can ride a hot dog, throw a hot dog, be a hot dog. A true condiment commander. I challenge you to... Feats of Meat! Feats of Meat!
Well, that decided nothing. But I know something that will. Mm. An election? You want to turn this into a popularity contest? Popularity contest? What popularity contest? <gasps> Did I win? It seems there's going to be an election to decide who will be this year's condiment commander. I don't want that job, but I can't pass up a chance to show the amigo snots that I am the most adored person on campus. What to do? You know we can all hear you, right? I'm in! And we come together with ketchup, mustard, and love! It's not what the dog can do for hot. It's what hot can do for the dog. So if you care about your eyes, you better be wearing goggles. Because I am the king of hot dogs, and you will dance to entertain me. Voting takes place tomorrow. Thank you all for caring about something so meaningless. Dismissed! No praise. I got eaten alive. I need a plan to beat them that is so genius, so sinister, so handsome like myself, so... Got it! Resume praise. He's so good at scheming. Yeah, out loud, too. Like a boss. Leonard! Love the new look. Hey, hey, Carl and Bonnie, vote from the heart. Huh? <gasps> My posters! Who would have done this? This is a friendly competition. Oh, I don't usually show and tell, but... Dad, my name is Bert, and I approve this video. Bert! Time to go mess with someone's karma. <laughs> Don't forget, a vote for Bert is a vote for me, because I'm Bert. Hey, Kirby, <laughs> how are you doing? How do you like that? Oh, um, well, the skull is cool, but other than that, not very much. Well, too bad. Uh, yeah, that one was Herbie's. Wait, what? What are you doing? Yeah, she's cutting up our posters and wants to know how we like it. Well, I don't. Neo peasant, bow to your ruler. Bow, fools, bow to the king. Bow. To your new king of condiments. Do yeah, you want him? The vote hasn't even happened yet. Oh, I'll be the winner. Trust me. Once Colonel Cork sees the mess Herbie, Kirby, and Bert have made, they'll be eliminated. Ha! Because of me! My plan worked! I turned them against each other! I am brilliant! Oh, Colonel, hey! Look at you, so broad in the shoulders. How long have you been standing there? Donnie! I heard everything! Eliminated! Yeah! Get your hands off my stuff! Hey, get your hands off that poster! Kirby, ah! 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 Kirby, Bert, my office now! So it was Donnie who tore up my poster last night? Affirmative. I guess the pressure of an election can get to the best of us. I could have told you I didn't do it. I spent all last night counting the seconds passing. 104351, 104352, 104354, 104354, 104354, 104354, point. No, I mean. Ah! Oh, now I have to start over! With Donnie eliminated. Which one of you cadets will serve as condiment commander? Yeah. Uh, I quit. I quit. Pardon me! All that competition tore our friendship apart. 
And these two boogers are more important to me than dressing up in some stupid costume. Yeah, and also seems like a lot of work now that I think about it. So with Donny eliminated and us dropping out of the race, who'll be the condiment commander? <laughs> little more, little more. Oh, less mustard. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, class, okay, grab a seat. But I don't want to see you drinking in this classroom. Oh, you won't. <laughs> Today, we will be studying foreign rock formations. And to start, well, we have a real thriller, yes. Behold, the terrarium worm rock from the Santeroid system. Oh, it's the most majestic and beautiful of all galactic rockery. Cut it out, Slurper Burper! In groups of four, your assignment is to make your own model of the rock for me to enjoy and judge, using the supplies provided. Kirby Bird and I will be a group! Yes, yes, there's a shocker, but you will need a fourth. That's it! Well. Yeah. Nice enthusiasm, Donny. You, Herbie, Kirby, and Bert are team one. Super team of awesome friendship! What? No! As captain of... Super, Super team, team of awesome, awesome friendship! That is not our name, so please stop saying it. Now, as team captain, my first order is for you three to make the silly rock. Yes, yes, excellent. As assistant captain, I approve those orders. Ooh, can I be the team's spiritual advisor? Yes, because I don't care. I'll be in charge of explosives. Just make the rock! It better be. <gasps> mm -hmm. He's speechless with joy. That looks nothing like a terrarian worm rock. Of course not. It's a go kart. As assistant captain, I decided this was way radder. I have an A plus average, and it is not going to be ruined by a bunch of melon heads. Now, make this a rock. Yeah. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We should take it for a spin first. We should take it for a spin first! That was awesome. Dude, why would you add a button that makes it explode? Well, Donnie put me in charge of explosives, and I take that seriously. But now we don't have any supplies, and the worm rock is due tomorrow. If we get an F, Donnie's gonna poop his suit. And this here assistant captain will not let that happen. Okay, but what can we do? Yeah, like fly to Terrarian and get an actual worm rock? <laughs> right. Bert, you're a genius. Yeah, I know. But what are we gonna do? Nice contouring. B plus. Well, it's, it's a bit too rocky, yes. <laughs> B minus. Donny, where are your partners? Hopefully trapped in the lower intestines of a... <laughs> oh, here they are now. Uh, we were putting the finishing touches on our project. As for Captain Donny's orders. Before you see this, I would like to say that I had nothing to... I mean everything to do with this. After all, I did most of the work. It's perfect. Uh, a plus to infinity. Bow down to your intellectual superior. I said bow. What? Yes, yeah. 
Your barnacled butts walk the plank. Every one of ya. <laughs> oh, gracious me. Whatever am I doing up so high? Forgive me. Now, uh, pardon me, but I need the powder room. <laughs> Super Team of Awesome Friendship! A plus. Can you believe it? Great idea to go to Terrarian, Herbie. It was a great idea, wasn't it? My, my. Who did let these vagabonds into such a respectable eatery. Did you join the drama club or something? Excellent character work. <laughs> hmm. Did you guys notice anything strange about Donnie? <laughs> Harvey, Harvey, Bert, and Donnie, report to my office double time! And where is Donnie? Maybe at rehearsals? Can someone tell me how you built an actual worm rock from glue, styrofoam, and markers? Hmm? Anyone? We didn't! We went to Tyrarian and got one! You cheated? We did? Professor Mybed never said we couldn't do that! Just please! Please tell me you checked it for terrarian worms before bringing it onto my campus. Ugh, those rocks have worms? They're called worm rocks! <sighs> um, yes. What Kirby is trying to say is of course we checked. Good. Because those worms are extremely dangerous. Say we forgot. How are they dangerous again? They crawl into your brain and change your personality until they finally grow big enough and then... hoo bam You become a butterfly. Aww! A people-eating killer butterfly! Ah! So how long does this really frightening transformation take? Not that we care because we checked the rock for worms. It can be as quick as four hours. Ah! We're screaming because we just remembered we have to go. To class! Pee. <laughs> okay, it says here the transformation happens, and I'm quoting, in the darkest, most scary place around. I hope it hasn't happened yet. I mean, it would be cool to see, right? Well, if it already has, I'm ready for action! <laughs> said there was no worm in that rock. Well, I think it's safe to say there isn't. The worm is now in Donnie's head. <laughs> Professor Mybad, how do we stop it? You can't! We're all snacks! We're doomed, I tell you! Doomed! <laughs> it says here the terrarian butterfly's natural enemy is the terrarian spider. <gasps> they will stop at nothing to destroy each other! I am not bringing a deadly spider onto what's left of my campus. Maybe we can fool Donnie into thinking you did. Oh, by making a spider costume using styrofoam and glue, then using one of us as butterfly bait? <laughs> Pfft, yeah. <laughs> what? What are you looking at? Yellow lip. 
ever scallywag. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to, duck pooper? <laughs> <laughs> My, my, this worm sure gets around. <laughs> gotcha! Super Team Awesome Friendship! Today's assignment is to write down what you learned from almost being eaten by a butterfly. OK. Now, where is my, um, oh, there you are. And don't you be stealing from each other's treasure, you hear? 